Hey, what's up everybody? It's Josh K, 6 naz I was here at the workbench. I went to HRO today and I bought some PL259 to BNC connectors. And I thought I'd make a quick video. This is just gonna be kind of an informative video for people that are starting out with HF and particularly those that use QRP radios. So when I was first starting out, a lot of the antennas I used in the connectors had PL259s on everything. Things have changed a little bit. In fact, let me grab this. And people are starting to use BNC connectors, BNC to BNC for coax and other things and other antennas. And that's great because most QRP radios have BNC connections. I've got a couple right here, actually. BNC connection. Um, Hilltopper 20, BNC connection. And if it's BNC to BNC, it's very simple. Case in point, this Elecraft 1899T. BNC, you can put a BNC right angle on it so that you can mount it on the KX2, for instance. But I've heard online many people worry that, you know, you introduce some loss when you connect an adapter like this. So this video is really just to say, don't worry about that so much. The common known amount of loss that a connector like this adds is 0 0.01. And that's if we can even measure it. The reality is, is that it's not that big a deal, so don't don't worry. So that's point one. Point two, not all BNC connectors are the same, so or adapters are the same. This one I bought at HRO today. This one I bought at a swap meet from someone that's affectionately known as the connector lady. They do the same function, but there's quite a bit of difference between them. So holding these up here, you'll probably see it already. The center of the one here from the, uh, from the connector lady is a silver metal piece for the male end of the BNC. The HRO model is some kind of copper or copper clad or coated material. Flip it over, same thing. You've got silverish metal and then the copper. Also note the insulator, the white part, different build up here on the HRO versus the connector lady. The connector lady's teeth here that key it into the coax is smaller and the one from HRO is a bit beefier, locks in place a little bit better. The collar end, this is flat finished, this has a kind of chamfer on the edge. This one gets a much positive, more positive connection into the socket. This one, and, and this is one of the reasons why I went to HRO to get more of these from them. So this one, when you hold it up, it's it's real springy, right? You can You can see the spring to it, very easy to pull it. This one, real hard, really tight spring, really smooth rotation. This one is gritty. Um, the difference in price, this is a $4 BNC connector, PL259 to BLC, BNC, and this one I think I paid $2. So for $2, you get a much greater quality connector. And I'll link to the Amazon store, I'll put a link in that you can take a look at and get a high quality connector. So. There, you're not getting any more loss by using the cheap one, by the way. However, I've had these go out on me, and that's why I usually pack two whenever I go QRP and I'm using an antenna that doesn't have a connection like that. For instance, the um, Chameleon P-Loops, they use PL259s, so you got to go to a BNC if you're going to use that for QRP. In front of me, what kind of last point, in front of me is a series of different changers and connectors. This is a right angle, by the way. This is a cheap right angle. This is a beefy right angle that I got from HRO today. You can, you can see the difference just looking at them. This one also, real nice turn. Good, it, it doesn't flex nearly as much as this guy. This guy is real wobbly. So what am I talking about? Well, when you're connected on the side of the radio, like the KX2, and you've got the, tri the bipod down, having a, a rigid connection, something that locks in tight, into that BNC is, is helpful. It, it makes it more secure, it's less wobbly. So a couple other things. This is just a sex changer, or this is not a bulkhead, but you use this to join two coax connections together. These guys are SMA connectors, male, female. The reason I have these is for um, SDRs. So you would use your barrel on there like that into the PL259, and then you can go into something like an SDR play. This is the opposite. This is the one that goes from your barrels into a female PL259. And these are the flip side of these guys, right? This is the female end, this is the male end. 
same SMA connector. So what you'll find is you're getting started in amateur radio, you're gonna need to collect a series of adapters. And potentially since we're going into field day time again, it's always a really good idea to have all these different types of connectors on hand. This is just a small set that you may need. But um, you know, another point of, of note, you're gonna use stuff like these, these guys in particular, for um, VHF, UHF radios. So if you've got a nice J-pole on the roof or a ground plane like I do, you're going to need one of these if you want to go into an HT, for instance, if you're doing that on field day. So something to note, something to keep in mind. Adapters are good. Um, if you can, go native, you know, connection. You can get PL259 to BNC, for instance, for going to a portable QRP radio. But if you have to use an adapter, don't worry about it. It's a negligible amount of loss. In QRP, that's important, but it's still better to go with what you have. Buy something a little bit more expensive, a little higher quality. Expensive is $2 more here than, you know, something cheap. But those are things to look for. Springiness, you don't want as much springy. You want it real firm. Look for the quality of the insulator. Again, you can see that nylon's thicker. The spacing in between that inner portion is thicker on this end. And you can really tell when you go into the radio, it gets a real positive connection versus this guy, this is wobbly, you know? Like, so the whole the whole body, even down to the bayonet connector is wobbling. And let me put it down so you can see this a little bit easier. You can just kind of wobble the whole thing around with this guy. Very, it's less play right there. The bayonet's really tightly on there due to the thickness of the insulating material. You can really tell the difference. So anyway, um, it doesn't cost a lot to buy better quality stuff in some cases with amateur radio. And this might be one of those areas where you want to keep an eye out. So anyway, I am Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate that. We live stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click that bell icon to get notified when we go live. All right. Thanks a lot. See ya.